Good morning, parents. This is Sandra with your morning meditation. Before we jump in and learn the words of encouragement that Father has for you for today, please, please take a moment out and just hit that like button for me. It gives us the opportunity to share these meditations with more parents. And please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so that you won't miss any of our great content. So let's see the word that Father has for you today. He said, Behold, I make a covenant. Before all your people, I will do marvels, such as have not been worked in all the earth, nor in any nation, and all the people among which you are shall see the work of the Lord, for it is an awesome thing that I do with you. Isn't that amazing? He says, I've made a covenant with you. The covenant has already been made and ratified through Christ. So this is speaking directly to you. It's a done deal. He says, I will do marvels. You are his child. You're counted among his people. You have chosen him as Lord. He says, I will do marvels such as have not been worked in all the earth. He is going to do amazing, amazing things in your life through you, for you, things that have not been seen. People around you have never witnessed anything like this. And the people among which you are shall see the work of the Lord. It is an awesome thing that he's going to do with you. This is his word to you today. He said, I'm doing an awesome thing. It's going to be so spectacular. The people among whom you are are going to see this thing. And it's like the jaws are going to be on the ground. How spectacular, how profound. How amazing, how next level the things that he is working through for you. So hold on to that promise. Hold on with all faith. Hold on because the good things are coming. Not just good, spectacular, amazing. Things are coming. But don't let go. Don't quit. Don't turn back. Don't give up. Keep going. And if you can't take another step today, just stand still. Don't turn back. Just stand still. Remember, sometimes he says you need to just come aside for a while and take a bit of a break because you've been exhausting yourself. Just come and rest a while. So if today feels like one of those days, you just, I just can't take another thing. Take a time out. Take a break. Let him refresh you, rejuvenate you. Focus on the things that are good, that are lovely. Fill your mind. Remember, the mind needs to be focused on positive things to have a positive feelings and outcome positivity. If you're looking for that, look within your mind. What are you focused on? Focus on the things that are good. Whatsoever is good. Whatsoever is lovely. Think on these things. Find something good to focus on. It could be a flower. It could be a, oh, that shade of yellow is spectacular. Look at the sun through the leaves. Look at that snow, fresh fallen snow. Look at that water. Look at that kitten. Look at that baby. Look at that person. Find something to focus on. That is positive because if you don't find something positive on purpose, your mind is going to default to focusing on the negatives and it's going to focus on it to the exclusion of anything positive around you. So you want to make sure that you're managing your mindset and that you choose what you focus on and they're all around you. You just want to be able to pause, relax, reset. And if you can't see it, ask pray, Holy Spirit, show me something positive. Show me something pretty. Show me something, something that I can focus on that is positive, that is uplifting. All of the time, you want to make sure that even as you're looking around at creation, you want to remember the creator. So having a scripture in your heart at all times is the greatest way to forge and to elevate and to rev up that faith that sometimes feels like it's slipping, that hope that when it feels like it's not holding air, Find a scripture, find a word, and have an expectation that good things are coming. This is the promise that he has made to you. And he's made a promise that people are going to see, the world is going to see, and it is an awesome thing that he is doing for you and doing with you and going to do through you. And as you face challenges, remember this word, but the Lord is with me as an awesome mighty one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. They shall be utterly disappointed because they have not dealt wisely, even with an everlasting dishonor, which shall never be forgotten. 
So here he's promising you, don't focus on what people are doing. Don't focus on their dishonesty. Don't, don't focus on their lack of ethics and morality and transparency. Don't focus on them. He says, he is with you. He is the awesome and mighty one. Therefore, your persecutors shall stumble. They will not prevail. So just remind yourself of that. It may look like they're prevailing, but because of who your father is, they shall not prevail. They will be utterly disappointed because they have not dealt wisely with you and you are his beloved child. And if people deal unwisely with you, he will not leave that unanswered. And he says, with an everlasting dishonor, which shall never be forgotten. So he said, I'm not going to forget this. I see what they're doing to you. I see how they're treating you. I see what's going on with an utter everlasting dishonor. I will not forget this. They will be utterly disappointed. They shall not prevail. Remind yourself of that. You can look at the situation and say they will not prevail. This will not work out. This will not work out for their good. It will work out for my good because I know who my father is. Remind yourself time and time again of who you are, who your father is, his heart towards you, his intent for you. Never forget. Say it every day. Write it down places, the promises that resonate with you. I know the plans I have for you, declares your father. They are plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and an expected end. And the expectation at the end is not a negative outcome. It's above what you could ask or think. So rehearse the, his promises. Pick one or two. Let it be something you have around you at all times. When you're in those tight spaces, rehearse those promises to yourself. Remind yourself of who you are and whose you are and what his heart is towards you. Never allow yourself to forget that. Because the minute we forget that, that's when we spiral down into stress and anxiety and frustration and conduct ourselves in ways that are unlike the true character that you are. So remember who you are that will keep you in perfect peace as you keep your mind on Christ Jesus. If you haven't done so already, please, 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 pretty please, do click that thumbs up button to let me know that you see value in this. Also, please remember to check out your app store for our Coaching for Parents app. It has some amazing free content that is going to be invaluable to you as you navigate raising your tweens and teens. And as you go into your day, remember that you are highly blessed, greatly favored, and deeply loved, and that you already are victorious in him. So go forward today with the expectation of success. And keep your eye open for little treats that he may have already planted along the pathway of this day for you. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, for another moment of meditation.